I'm Mr. Scholl. I'm Mrs. Scholl's husband. And we have a daughter named Madison who is six years old. And Ms. Scholl told, tells me that you guys are having trouble with scientific notation. So Ms. Scholl decided tonight to teach our six-year-old daughter in first grade how to do scientific notation. And there's four problems on her board, and she's going to do them for you. And if she can do them, then you have to admit that you should be able to do them, too, since you're in high school. Go ahead, Maddie. So, so far she's gotten to the two first correct. Let's look at them. Carefully, 6.375 uh, six, is 6.375 times 10 to the third. And 718,900 is 7.189 times 10 to the fifth power. Okay, first grader. Now she's going to do the ones where there's negative exponents. Negative or positive? Negative. Where's the, where's the decimal go? Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Negative. Now she did this did the negative one, now she's gonna do another one. Almost. What is that going to be a positive integer or Dude. a negative exponent? All right. Is, now, Maddie, is scientific notation hard? No. How long did it take you to learn it? About 15 minutes. About 15 minutes. So, like in a 90-minute block or something I mean, like that. Tw two minutes. In in a 90-minute block or something like that, high school students should ought to be able to do this, right? It's easy, right? Tell them. Yes, it's easy. Show them. That. After Mrs. Scholl's brilliant instruction was done by a six-year-old, a six-year-old in first grade, you're in high school and you have a lot longer to learn this, get it done.